Well, hello there. This is Mega Pie Man doing a video for none other than Scott Pilgrim vs. the World in the Game Demo. I want to play on Rough and Tough, the middle spot, and I want to play as good old Scotty Pilgrim. Um, this is based off of the comic book, not the live action movie. I uh, never actually knew this was a comic book before I looked it up on the interwebs. That that old faithful Wikipedia and Google let me know that this used to be a comic book before the live action movie came out. And this is was a best of E3. I remember seeing that put up on the PlayStation Store. And basically it's a nice good old tribute to like the NES and the SNES 8-bit, 16-bit type gameplay. And for being what it is, it's not too bad. I'm not necessarily a huge fan of it. I mean, it's a brawler. It's like Street Fighter, except you can't play as... You can't have two people playing. Look at this. I'm just going to pick this guy up, and I'm going to beat his friend with the guy's unconscious body. Any game that allows you to beat other people up with other people, it's, uh, it's at, least a, at, least, at least a 5. It's at least a 5 out of 10 pies for me. I need to, what I'm going to do is I want to start rating games sometime soon. That's what I'm going to do with this. I'm going to start rating them with a up to 10, 10 pies. 10 pie slices is going to be the top you can get, and 5, no, I'll give this game at least, at least a 7. Yeah, that's about a 7 out of 10 pies. let you pick up weapons, which is pretty nice. I'm going to pick up this bat right here. And I'm going to beat the crap out of some guys who are off screen. So it's got. I've went through this game, this level before, but didn't get too far. This was the farthest I've been able to go to it through, through it so far. I haven't been able to beat the level yet. From what I've been reading on the interwebs, the game is basically made for multiplayer. Although it doesn't have online multiplayer, it's basically designed for four players, up to that many. And going solo, I have read is considered frustrating and can be quite annoying so I got I don't know how far I got to the end but I got pretty far I want to try and see if I can do a video of the co-op multiplayer right now I'm getting my butt handed to me I uh, didn't lose a life there but this game it runs off of different types of points of course in the upper left hand corner you can see your life my life is at zero, zero, 001 right now. If I take one more hit, I can die. And I haven't found any way so far to actually get life back. Here comes Indiana Jones out of nowhere, trying to see if he can beat the crap out of me. But I think I'm able to take him down. Underneath the zero, zero, 001 life points, under the blue, it's all the zeros now, but those are called guts points. And when you saw me doing before doing the super attack where he spins around and attacks multiple people at once, that is works on guts points. You can also call in knives. I believe that's the name of the character you're able to call in who did that love thing that you saw before. Oh, uh, there's the one hit. It means I'm dead. And now it's going to go down to two right now. See, now I'm up to 100 life, 100 guts points. I haven't found any way to revamp guts points either. Supposedly, if you beat five people without dying, right there, I'm doing a nice block. You'll get some guts points back. Plus, you'll also you fight it without getting hit. Plus, you'll also get um, a nice invincibility for a small period of time. And then, of course, next to Scott's face is... Oh, look, that is Springs now online. That's nice. i got to remember to turn off my monitoring when I make these videos. Anyway, you can see right next to his face the number two. That is, of course, my lives. You've got the square button, which does fast attacks, which aren't as powerful. And you've got the triangle button, which does more damaging attacks but are slower and of course you've got R1 which does your super attack where he spins right now I'm going to call knives in but she doesn't do anything with my L1 button right there's the super attack I'm gonna pick, gonna pick this guy up and gonna see if I can do anything you can chuck him but you can't unless there's someone to hit doesn't do any damage to him he likes to use the block O blocks X jumps I like to use the directional buttons to move Scott instead of using the joystick because 
uh, I find it a lot easier to move them around. Like, there's the dash move that I've unlocked. Um, I like level 3 when I made this video. Because it levels up, it's got some nice RPG elements. I had gone through this level before, but failed. Unfortunately. I failed a little bit farther, a little bit farther on than this guy. But I did level up a couple times there, and thanks to that level up, I was able to get some moves. Every time you level up, you get a nice combo. If you double tap whichever direction you want to go, double tap right or left on the directional pad, Scott will run. These guys are stuck in the corner. I'm just beating the crap out of them. They didn't cause too much trouble. I'll try to take him out. I'm going to, I think I pick him up. Yeah, I pick him up, and I'm going to use him as my weapon when I get into the next area. Which, right there, I gotta give this game credit right there, like I said before, anything that allows you to pick people up is just awesome. Trying to compare it to other games you might have played, if you have ever been to Newgrounds.com or played the Flash game called Dad and, and Me, Dad, not Dad and Me, but Dad and Me, Dad and Me, then I would compare this game to that because it reminds me of that quite, quite a lot. With all the different attacks, the different the graphics, the different play style. If you haven't checked that out, there we go. I leveled up. Just got a nice well, tap O when you're attacked. I guess that's going to do a parry. But if you guys haven't played Dad and Me, go do it. It's free, and it's a nice comparison to Scott Pilgrim vs. the World. Um, never read the comic books. If anyone read the comic books, you can let me know how much this game actually sticks to the plot of the comic books. I mean, I know the plot is basically he likes some chick, but he can't date her because there's a bunch of her exes who want to kick the crap out of you just because they can. But if anyone knows if the game keeps any more to the plot of the comic book, then let me know that. You can download this demo from the PlayStation Network yourself and play it. I don't think the full game is available yet, but it might be. I don't know if it's available on Xbox Live or Xbox Arcade. I don't know that. You're going to have to check that out for yourself. But I kind of like it. I got a love-hate thing with this. Oh, look at this. You got emo ninjas right now. I like it, and I don't. You're in a... Right in the setting at the time here is Toronto, Canada. That's all the snow, but... Everyone's wearing t-shirts for being in the middle of the snow. And you would think that wearing t-shirts while being in the snow would be a stupid idea. Because it'll get, be cold and everything. That feature right there, if you're about to die, you can quickly tap O, and it will convert your remaining guts points into life points. So if you have like 90 or so guts points and you die, you're able to convert that into life points. I don't believe all of them get converted, but the, the more the quicker you tap O, the more points that you get to convert into life. I'm unfortunately down to one life now, but by what I've read on the internet, don't add it solo is kind of difficult, and I'd have to agree with that. I haven't done the co-op yet. But for some reason, I've had to re-download this game a couple times, this demo. Oh, Indiana Jones is back. Because it keeps on freezing up and messing up my PlayStation. But, you know, it's kind of cool. I get this tire. I'm able to go crazy with this tire. Not yet. But there's a spot here. I'm able to get this. I don't know what the money's for yet. Because either it's not in the demo, or... I haven't been able to get to that spot, supposedly, from what I have read in the instructions, that it's supposed to allow you to buy combos and different health items from different stores. But I really like the reaction that you have with the environment and these different items. Like, just look at this. Just punch it, and it bounces back. Punch it, and it bounces back. You can basically juggle that tire and be able to take down Indiana Jones once again. And here come some dogs. See, so look at this. I'm able to juggle the items and do multiple damage to them, and they can't get up because they're too busy getting hit. So that's an interesting tactic that you can use if you decide to play this game by yourself. I don't know if there is, like, a score, if it keeps high scores, or that you can compare with your friends on the internet. I'm not sure about that. You can check that out. Do a nice juggle with the basketball. And I am tearing this all to pieces. Uh, the animal community probably wouldn't be too happy about this. Uh, what's that? PETA? Is that, is that what it's called? The animal people? I think I just got that wrong. Anyway, I think they would, they would be they would be unhappy with that part, part in the game right there. I mean, look at this. Nice, nice tire juggling action. I'll take these guys down pretty easy. 
just quickly hitting square as fast as I can. And these guys, they give it no chance. They can't even stand up. And every time you hit them with an item, it drops more coins that you can use to buy more upgrades when you get through the level. And it's an it's nice. It's a nice game. If you're looking for a game that would be that would be kind of fun, it'd be kind of frustrating. But I don't know what kind of people look for frustrating games, but I guess if you're looking for a challenge, then you can pick this game up. Uh, I think it's around maybe five to ten bucks. If I'm wrong, be feel free to correct me in the comments page. If whenever I'm wrong, just feel free to correct me. So I, I, I'm wrong every now and then. But right now I'm going against the two sub bosses. Got a big man on campus that came out of the bus earlier, and Indiana Jones is back. So hope I think I'm able to beat beat them, but just barely, and I get taken down a little bit after that. So, if anybody knows of any demos they would like to see videos of, make sure you drop that in the comments area. Because since the demos are free, they're easy to make videos out of. I don't have to pay for them. It's kind of harder to make game-specific videos since I don't necessarily have every single game out there, and I don't have the money to buy every game. But I'm doing I'm doing some nice work here with this tire until that guy gets behind me. While they're all in front of me, I'm fine, but when they get behind me, then I just can't be able to juggle the tire a little bit. I think I finally killed that guy, and all we got the big man on campus left. And he goes down without much much of a fight. Which can be kind of kind of depressing when you're taking these guys out and they just fall over and then there's really not much of a fight going on. It has the different stages in which you get to a point. I mean, if you've been paying attention, you probably already know this, but you get to a point. Where's a cat? Can I punch the cat? Can I pick the? Can I? Can I hit it? Can I pick it up? Can I throw it at people? That's what it needs. I wish I could pick that cat up and throw it at someone, and, like just maul their face or whatever. What is this? A snowball fight? Oh yeah, this is where I die. A whole bunch of guys in blue coats show up and they, they beat my beat the pants out of me. Unfortunately. But uh, it's been Mega Pie Man for Scott Pilgrim vs. the World, the game demo. I'm about to die, so I'm going to sign off right here. And if you wouldn't like to request any specific demos to do videos of, just drop that in the comments. And I hope you have a good day. Goodbye.